to know that the Lord is good all the time. Tragedies are a commonplace all kinds of diseases people are still the economy is down the people can't
soul, my soul does magnify him. My soul does magnify him. He's worthy of all the praise. that my mouth could utter. I worship him. I magnify him. I glorify him. I swore his great name. There's no name like his name. I give him my praise. Is there anybody in the house that magnifies the Lord? Is there anybody in the house that appreciates Him and all of His goodness? If you know how to preach, you know, stand on your feet right now. And Lift your hands to him and flip around and let your palms face you. That puts you in a place to praise him and to receive from him. To see your simple soul any way you bless me, Lord. I will be satisfied. Listen, boys, and give him praise. Oh, God, I thank you. Oh, open your mouth and give him praise. My soul, my soul, my soul. Chapter 16, 
verses through 18 of the book of St. Mark. St. Mark chapter 16, verses 15 through 18, the companion scripture. It takes a second from Romans chapter 1, verses 15 and 16. The author writes, the Apostle Paul is the author of the book of Romans. He shares his version of the gospel of Jesus Christ, even though he longed to have been in the company of that church. But he sent them an epistle before he touched the streets of Rome. Says unto them, for as much as in me, I'm ready to preach the gospel to you that I own also. He'd been many places, but he had not been to Rome. Yes, yet. For I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek of the Gentiles. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. The subject of the text is the gospel of Jesus Christ, is the power of God under salvation. And in the book of St. Mark, chapter 16, commencing at verse 15, and he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and that is baptized shall be saved, and he that believeth not shall be damned or condemned. And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick. And they shall recover. The gospel of Jesus Christ. It's very important to note that the Lord called twelve fellows early on and sent them to preach a gospel. That was the gospel of the kingdom of Jesus Christ. John the Baptist was the first to preach the gospel of the kingdom. It was announcing that the Messiah, Jesus Christ, had come. And if Israel would believe that he was the Messiah, they would, he would have established his kingdom here on earth. But because they simply did not accept him as the Christ or the Messiah, the kingdom was deferred. When he came here and sent the twelve out, and later sent seventeen more, listen carefully. The additional twelve preached the same message that 
The twelve preached. And the same message that John the Baptist preached. John came in the wilderness preaching. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Let it prepare straight. Yes. These preachers only preached to the Jews. Only to the Jews. The gospel of the kingdom at that time was only to the Jewish nation. Of that time, the Bible declared that Jesus tells the woman, help to the will. Salvation is of the Jews. The message that was preached on the other side of the cross was preached to the Jews and not to the whole world. It's only preached to the Jews. Jesus preached the same message himself. And it was to the Jews, only the Jews. But now, after he dies and be risen from the dead, there's a gospel that's been preached. His death, his burial, and his resurrection. And he tells them to go into all the world and preach this gospel. Go into all the world and preach this gospel. I've listened so many times to ministers that are preaching and relating to the gospel that Jesus refers to in 25, 25th chapter, 14th verse of the book of St. Matthew, when this gospel of the kingdom is preaching all words as a witness, then shall they end come. The gospel that Jesus is referring to is not the gospel we are preaching now, but the gospel of the kingdom. This is very careful. It is much as the Jews rejected him. The gospel of the kingdom was defined. The gospel of grace is what we are preaching now. They didn't preach the gospel, the death, the burial, and the resurrection in the gospel of the kingdom. Because the master had not died. Now, the Lord didn't set his kingdom up because the Jews rejected him. But he will set his kingdom up during the month later reign. Precede before he comes to set his kingdom up, he would choose 144,000 sealed Jews to go to all the world and preach the gospel of the kingdom. The Messiah is coming, the Christ is coming, he's going to set his kingdom up. And when that gospel is preached, then shall the end come. Not the gospel that we're preaching now. Oh God, I love this. Hallelujah. So, but anyway, what Jesus is telling the fellows now, he called them early on and sent them out preaching, going to the high school of Israel. But now he dies. He was risen from the dead. And now he's getting ready to go back to heaven. He tells them now. Go get over. I called you to preach your God. But now he's given another commission. Go to all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned unto them. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. They shall speak in new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink in a deadly thing, it shall not harm them. And they shall lay hands on the sick. And they shall recover. Now they're going to preach that the Master, the Son of God, the Christ, the siege of the world has died. He's risen from the dead. 
and go preach and let the world know that he rose from the dead after he was buried and after he died. And that is the gospel. And then Paul declares this gospel. Gospel simply means good news. And God knows we need some good news. Tell your neighbor somewhere, tell somebody, we need some good news. Oh uh, God, we need some good news. In a world of turmoil, a world of trouble, nations are disturbed around the globe. No one knows precisely what's in the future. Presidents and premiers and leaders of nations are disturbed. Then he's still at the brink of a world war. One simple crazy move could, could send a catastrophe all over the world around the globe. Good news. Some worry about the economy. I know who say the world is mine and the fools they are. Camera on 10,000 years. Be mine. And he said, if I ask him, he can give me what I want. If I can like myself to him, and give me the desires of my heart, I'm not going hungry. The company may be upside down. But my God will make a way. And that's good news. No matter what happens, I heard the writer say in the name of the Lord, it's a strong town. I don't care what happens, I can get inside of this name. My hope is not in the government. My hope. Is in him. And that's good news. God, I preach. To say the world, nations are sick. Politicians are sick. They lie one day, dress it up the next day, and even the preachers will come down and support them in their lives. Church sick. Many churches are sick. Many church schools are sick. Needs are sick. Turn the TV on. You're going to hear some bad news. Scared half the death. Put your don't have. Faith in the Lord. Sick. Suicide. On the rise. Murder. On the rise. We need some good news. Drug lords. Send their poison. Through channels of the streets, throwing young men and young women. Storms, tornadoes, floods. We need some good news. Can somebody tell the Lord to think? Crisis in the Middle East. One crazed leader can spin a whole world into a world war. And believe me, the challenge is out of a force now. I've seen this and said it repeatedly. Said over and over again. The devil has a plan to destroy this nation. What's happening, you want to know why things are happening the way they are. Listen to me carefully. I ain't planning to say this. 
But the man that's in office is possessed by a spirit. When I felt some this word that I'm going to up my preaching to send my podcast and live streaming to warn this nation. The man that's in office is not in alliance with this nation. He's not in alliance with this nation. The devil is trying to use him to break up the relationship between the United States and Great Britain and those European nations, even the <laughs> NATO. Break it up, break the relationship up. And that will weaken the democratic nations and open the door for Russia, who is planning this attack. Even as I stand here now, waiting for the right time, to attack the United States from both sides, from the West Coast to the East Coast of the United States of America. Oh yes, that's a bad was plan. Because what to use this individual, this individual, the devil wants to destroy this nation. Because this nation uses at one point, two-thirds of all the goods that the world produces for less than five percent of the world's population. But yet, this nation uses approximately two-thirds of all the goods that the world produces. So there's an attack. This nation is called on being blamed because not supporting other nations, because of all that we are blessed with, and we can make the difference in so many other nations. But that because of the church, the true people of God, God is keeping it afloat only because of the people of God. The enemy coming into pornography, to drug addiction, to homosexuality, all kinds of sins, adultery, you name it. That's right. Coming into this nation to try to destroy it. But thank God for the church. Yeah. And the church is good news. But if he can get inside the church, which he had played a major role, to turn the church around. If he can infiltrate the church and destroy it, bring the church down, he'll bring the nation down. Righteousness exalts a nation. But sin is a reproach to any people. But what we need is a gospel to be preached. Not watered down but the gospel of Jesus Christ. I, for the life of me, I cannot understand how churches, preachers, cannot pass a second chapter of Acts and bring in the doctrine of salvation, overlooking the real doctrine of salvation in the second chapter of the book of Acts. Can the disciples for the right come in? Because the devil don't like the name of Jesus. He use half of it. There's some use half of his name. But we'll use his name for everything. Whatever you do in the word and deed, the Bible says, do all. In the name of the Lord Jesus, give him thanks to God and the Father by him. How many times do you hear a preacher on the air telling folk to repent? And be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. How many times do you hear it? But this is what the apostles preached. This is what the apostle Paul preached. This is what Peter preached. This is what James and John preached. 
Lord, I praise you. If an angel in there didn't come preaching any other gospel to say something in church of elation, let him be a cast. Can somebody hear me today? The gospel of Jesus Christ, the true word of God, not watered down, not sad stuff. Go in the old world and preach the gospel to every creature. And Paul says, I'm not ashamed of it. You can try to impress me with all your philosophy and your ideology and all the stuff you have accumulated. But this, I come to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Paul stood on Mars Hill <laughs> when Arab figures met the highest court, Athenian court, philosophers throwing their philosophy around trying to impress. Those in the ground have studied have a curious of philosophical theories and ideas. And the stones but Paul came preaching Jesus and the resurrection. All this stuff don't save you, but the gospel will. Can I get a witness in this house? All this other stuff won't see you, but the gospel will. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. It has the power to go down into the whole house and bring them out and fill them with the Holy Ghost. It has the power to go into the drug house and bring a drug addict out and be baptized in Jesus' name uh, and be filled with the Holy Ghost. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Uh, it is a power, praise our God, uh, that set demons to fight. Uh, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Uh, when it's preached, the demons tremble. Uh, when it's preached in the morning, uh, the devils begin to shake uh, because of power in the gospel. Can somebody talk back to me? I'm going to see you in the gospel. So, roll that in the power of God under salvation. Can I get a witness in the house? Is there anybody here? Let me slow down here. Let me slow down here. Oh God, I preach you. Mm -hmm. The gospel, listen carefully to me. It talks about everything. How to get rich. Everything. If you hear most of the stuff, how to feel good about yourself. And some in Jay Kite said a third. Live with yourself, make decisions that, that you can live with and make decisions make you feel good. Motivational stuff. How often do you hear talking about the man died on the cross <laughs> and was buried? And, and three days later, he came out of the grave. Can I get a witness in there? You don't hear too much about it. All this other stuff because it commercialized everything. But it ain't about money. Can I get a witness in there? It's about salvation. And that's what the gospel is for. To bring men to Christ. Uh, can I get a witness in the house? Uh, somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Come on and tell him, thank you. Uh, oh, come on, man. Uh, there was a man called Jesus. Uh, and, and the prophet prophesied that he was coming. Uh, somebody called him the Rose of Sharon. Uh, someone called him the Lily of the Valley. Uh, he said about himself, I am the resurrection uh, and I am the life. Uh, he told John on the Isle of Pentecost, uh, I'm Alpha and I am Omega. Uh, I am the first <laughs> and I am the last. Uh, can I get the witness in the house? Uh, and say, brother, a child is born. A son is given. 
shoulder. And the covenant shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor. The mighty God. The everlasting Father. Wonderful Counselor. And the Prince of Peace. Oh, what I love what the angel told me. That's a call. His name Jesus. Hallelujah. But he shall save his people from their sins. I wonder, do you know how to call his name tonight? I wonder, do you know what the greatest name is? If you know what the name is, that's above every name. That's the name of talk to the children. That's the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.